I'm Nicole, and welcome to my fridge. Work it, make it, do it, makes us harder, better, faster, stronger. Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. My name is Nicole. If you are new, thanks so much for clicking on today's video. I have a fridge, pantry, and freezer tour, and I have some tips and tricks to show you how ours stays functional, and how we stay organized to make our lives easier. Disclaimer, my throat is going out, my voice is going because of hashtag allergies, so bear with me, apologize in advance, but let me take you into my fridge, pantry, and freeze. Before we get into the fridge, I have this magnet that is our menu board for the week, so I highly recommend making a meal plan and also having it advertised for you to see. This helps me out so much in the morning if I forget what's on the meal plan. I can look at this real quick and know what I need to take out of the freezer or put in the crock pot, whatever the case may be, to have our meal set for that afternoon. So highly recommend meal planning number one and also having a visual board to remind you what you need so to do. So this is our fridge inside. I have multiple fridge and freezers to show y'all. I know it works for our family and our lifestyle so I'm here for it. So I just recently reorganized our entire inside refrigerator and outside some too with these clear bins I got from Amazon, some from Dollar Tree and Target. Absolutely love them and how it makes everything just so more aesthetically pleasing and it's easy for me to grab and go and making all the boys lunches, windmill prepping, etc. So on the top shelf here is where I have my cold brew coffee in this pitcher from Amazon and also this carafe from Amazon. I put our orange juice in there. It just looks better and it does it takes up less space with having like your orange juice box containers and coffee, cold brew, whatever. I just love how that comes out. I got this turntable from Target. Love it that I can actually turn it and get what I need, not have to reach over, knock things over. So it's a very functional idea for us. And do you guys have like random things in the fridge? Like myself, the hubby and the boys are constantly putting like drinks and things in here. I know, hashtag real life. But this is just so easy for me to spin and get what we need. These are the most things that I reach for on a daily basis for breakfast and lunch. So that's why I have those in the little lazy Susan. The second shelf is where I like to keep most of our fruit. I also have this egg container got from the Dollar Tree. I actually got multiples of these. Love this thing so much for just a buck. You can pay so much for these containers because trust me, I have done that with these Amazon ones. So if you can find anything at like Dollar General or at Dollar Tree, highly recommend to save you some bucks there. This is my avocado keeper. They have so many nowadays that definitely keep your avocado fresh. I've got grapes. I've got blueberries. We change up the fruit. I've been doing that. If you watch my grocery hauls, depending on what is most cost effective right now. And that way we're not spending extra money and we just eat the things that are cheaper that we actually like right now. I've got strawberries in this one. These containers, I will say, keep your fruit fresh so much longer than you keeping them in the container or washing them and putting them in some other type. They really do make it last longer. Speaking of, I've got celery and asparagus in this one, and I've had these for a while and they are still fresh and we're using them as is. And we've got some fresh citrus in there. The bottom shelf, I've got these clear bins. I absolutely love these. Again, off of Amazon, they come with lids, but I like these inside to be open. So in this one, as you can see, I've got a lot of avocados at the bottom. I've got a random kiwi, a tomato, just like any vegetables that we've been using for recipes, for lunches, all the meal prep stuff. So I've got all my veggies and stuff in there and ready to roll. This one is our protein keeper. So I've got some deli ham, some deli chicken, turkey, pepperoni, and bacon. So I like to keep all the proteins in this one. And again, it's just easy to pull out. So if I know I'm making sandwiches, whatever, I can just pull this, put it on the counter and put it right back in. It just makes it really convenient. This top drawer is gonna be all of our cheeses. We've got sliced, we've got shredded, laughing cow, cream cheese, all of the things. This one I like to keep for some random veggies that we're opening up for meal prep, but it's basically meant for yogurt and these little smoothies I put in Trey's lunch boxes. Got some cottage cheeses for me and cheese sticks and baby bell I like to put in this one. These little containers right here came from Dollar Tree. This is actually a soda keeper from Dollar Tree. I love how this and this one is as well. So I've got two of those and one of these. Love how it separates and organizes everything. So again, you don't have to get these ones from Amazon. You 
you can go a cheaper route. These are better quality and they will last longer, I feel, for what you're using them for. Don't spend the extra money though on the little ones and dividers for your drawer. Dollar Tree is where it's at. We've got a random guest here that wants to show you this bottom drawer is our yogurt drawer. Again, two of the can dividers or can like organizers from Dollar Tree and another Dollar Tree little container in here just to keep them separate as far as flavor style. Got some sugar-free jello puddings. So these are easy on these shelves for the kids to grab and get. So Waylon's always asking for a snack and I always make them do a good choice first before anything else. So I have the fresh fruit in our basket over here by the sink. So bananas and oranges or he'll grab a yogurt cheese stick, a yogurt stick. This top shelf, I used to have like the most random stuff in now I keep yogurts in here. These are really yogurts that I want to have and not necessarily the boys have as far as flavors or whatever. So I like to keep these up high for me. Of course, we've got condiments for days. The door is concerned. We've got all of our dressings, pancakes, syrups, sauces, stuff on the second one. This one I like to keep for like jelly, sweet stuff and like random jalapenos, dill relish, sour cream. This one right here, I actually like really thought about how I wanted this to go and y'all can see that our shelves do move up, but I wanted this space to be large and I do stack like these big containers of yogurt. The boys usually have one, I'll stack it on top. It just saves a lot of space to put it on the door versus putting it in the fridge. So I've got salsa, cheese, and then the bottom one I keep for our almond milk and our regular milk. We like the Fairlife and the shakes that we put in our coffee or if the kids are sipping on them. And then I have a random like Classico Alfredo from a dinner just sitting there waiting to use up. Let's look in this freezer before we move on. So I recently just revamped the freezer as well. So I got these baskets from Dollar Tree. This is like all waffles, little mini pancakes, anything for breakfast is in these two. I have another basket back there. So I've got some hash browns. And then in the very back, I've got ice cream because I don't want it to be accessible for the boys. They have to ask for one. And that way they're not sneaking them, grabbing them, all the things that boys do. So I've got mamas back there and also the boys option. Again, I took some of the like shelving out of here to get these baskets from the Dollar Tree. It may not look functional for you guys, but this works way better than what was in here before. Like I'd have to reach. I didn't even know what was behind there. I can just take this entire basket if I want without like tearing the tags up. Take it out and we've got veggies back there and it's just easy for me to grab and go versus like take everything out get to the back put all that crap back so I really like the functionality of this so I've got the fruit in the front because that's what we use the most and then I've got veggies in the back this bottom drawer is nothing but protein so if you know you know Whalen's dino nuggets and then chicken and we've got mahi mahi I've got shrimp back there shrimp right here for days. So all the proteins basically for dinners I keep in this bottom drawer. Not much on the side. We've got some like bratwurst. We've got some garlic. And then my beloved turkey sausage is right here. And then ice packs for keeping things cool. But I don't have much on the door here. And this is stuff that we use on a daily. I like to keep in the freezer and the fridge inside. Now we're in our laundry room. This is where I have most of our food. I've made this like my own walk-in pantry slash laundry room behind me. We make it work, you know, make it functional for you. Another tip that I have, I featured this on a video before, are these magnetic dry erase boards. I got these from Amazon, I think in a three pack, I wanna say, or maybe a four pack. But I absolutely love these because I can write my inventory on the outside and I don't have to dig everything out the bottom of the deep freeze, take it out to see what's there. I know exactly what's in there and I keep this up to date. So if I were to take out this last pizza I have, I would erase that and know it's gone. Even if I take out a couple of bagels, I'll decrease the quantity here so I know exactly what we've got going on in here. So I'm going to actually like read off a little bit before because I'm not going to pull everything out. So the hubby has some boiled peanuts in here. I've got catfish, salmon, pork chops for some proteins, Canadian bacon. I also have some cooked taco meat that's easy to thaw out for the boys to make Taco Tuesday. Some strawberries in there. Lots of different types of breads and bagels, as you can see, our keto bread. And then on this side, I like to keep our veggies. So I've got green beans, cauliflower, tons of corn on the cob, some rice cauliflower stuffing that I still haven't used from Whole Foods. I need to use that. Some egg noodles, waffles, 
more corn and peas. So if we open it up, I have some things here on the top that I didn't have listed, like these little portioned out packs of venison ground meat, just because I'm going to be using them like ASAP. So there's no need to really write them on the board because I'm about to pull them out. There's the bagels, our little bags of peas and our Canadian bacon. So all the small little things I keep here in this little basket. I've got things organized. Like I said, this is mainly our veggies. I just stuffed these waffles in here. I've got this pizza on top just so it covers everything. But there's the bread that I get for such a good deal. Always freeze it. And then proteins. And I do have those little mini wontons I did not put on the inventory board. I need to do that. But other than that, that's everything that I just spouted off. But even some room to go in here if I wanted to. But I try not to keep it too overstuffed and try to make our meal plan around it. I actually need to do better at that, especially with the proteins instead of buying stuff. Just because I want to try the recipe, I need to work with what we have first. Coming outside to our garage, yes, we have two refrigerators. One was ours in our original house before we built this house and moved here and it works so why not keep it since we got a garage. And then my in-laws gave me one over here they've had forever. Of course they upgraded and were like, do you still want it? It works. Um, yes, because we need the extra space. So again, I have these boards out here that tell me what's in here. It's so great to keep track of it and to know without actually like having to dig everything out. Like I said, so great tip. And these are super cheap. Definitely will help you keep you organized organized. So inside here, my hubby does hunt and we've got a ton of venison on hand. We've got 17 packs left. We've been working through it because let me tell you, it was like a hundred at one point craziness. He just killed another deer this year and we processed it all into deer sausage. So I have a ton of that. I've actually been pinning. That's another tip. I pinned a ton of sausage recipes just so we can go through these proteins and I'm not feeling like this is going to last for years. So that's a, another tip is to definitely utilize Pinterest, at least Ellis's meal plan, I highly recommend. And she does make a point to go through lots of different proteins. There's a tip to get what you have gone out of here. Got a pork tenderloin in there, some venison tenderloin and turkey sausage. So if we open it up, like deer sausage for days, right? This is the deer sausage freezer. It's crazy. Just got this turkey sausage from our local discount store. And even on the door here, I have like, um, I got to go through the sausage. Y'all haven't seen me use sausage. Like I said, I'm trying to get creative off Pinterest because um, you think your girl needs to go through some sausage? Yes, we do. I'm like, uh, who wants to come over and take some of this? Because I feel like we're going to be having sausage dishes for the next five years. Inside this fridge, the freezer you just saw, this is like my back stock fridge. So this is where I've got all the extra tubes of yogurt, cream cheese, eggs I keep in here, any fruit that we're not ready to go into the containers yet, I keep it here. Um, cucumbers, snacks for the hubs, the pulled chicken y'all see, extra almond milk, the apples I've been getting for such a good deal. There's those clear containers again you saw inside. This one has these two have lids on them. I put the yogurts in here for back stock as well. Any big yogurts and dips. And then this is our big cheese drawer with all the back stock of cheeses that we're not ready to go through yet. If it doesn't seem like I'm going to go through any cheese that's in here, I will put this in the freezer. That's another tip. You can freeze cheese. And then usually that is our deli meat back stock, but I don't have any right now. See, we're going through it. And on the door in this container, if you thought we had enough condiments inside, I mean, it is a problem. Like, Comment down below if you've got con condiments for days and you're like, what am I even doing? I don't even know either, so I can't be the only one. But these are ones I didn't want to get rid of because I've used them for meal prep or like special things for a recipe that's like fish sauce. And I'm like, I don't want to throw it out because I'm probably going to make it again. So that's where this one goes, the things that we don't use often. And then I've got some stocks here, coconut aminos. Again, all these th random things for recipes. I know I'm probably going to use, but I don't want it to be in the fridge for something I only grab once in a while. The second freezer is like leftovers I've frozen, things from Trader Joe's I need to go through, and lots of carbs. So it's a lot of bread and a lot of waffles stuff. So that's what's in this joker. So as you can see, the lighting adjusts. There we go. We've got tons of bread. I mean, I get this bread from our local discount store for like 99 cents. You cannot pass it up and we use it. But I want to try not to get as much because I don't need any, even though it's a good deal. You know what I'm saying? So I try to like make sure we go through it before I buy it again. Y'all know the drill. So I've got Texas toast, Kodiak cakes we got for a killer deal. All the Trader Joe's stuff back there, shrimp burgers, the reduced mac and cheese we need to go through. I've got Thomas cinnamon muffins, the swirl bread, 
keto hamburger buns there. We've got hot dog buns for the kids, rolls we've made. And then behind here is a bunch of things I've made that we had leftovers of and I didn't want to throw it away. So I froze it and it definitely comes in clutch. And on the door here, we've got a million ice creams that usually the boys go through. Bought these for myself, but as you guys know, if you watch the vlogs and Instagram, I don't go through that a lot. I usually like go ham on the American Dream Nut Butter instead. That's been my jam. We've got some more of the Trader Joe's things I still never tried and then some bars that we absolutely love. And then inside this fridge is my back stock of my liquid egg whites. And this is basically our leftovers fridge and our drink fridge. So you see I've got all of our zero sugar drinks. Hubby's got beer. He's got his sparkling ice down there. I've got Premier Protein Shakes down there. And I've got Fair Life all here on the door. You can see we've got all the stuff here for leftovers that we need to go through throughout the week. So it lets me know what we have on hand if I need to make an extra dinner and what we need to go through. I can prep and pack for the hubby's lunch and get it out of here or if I need to get it out of here for the weekend. So that's what's in here is just drinks, back stock of stuff and leftovers. Moving on to the pantry. Now this is the pantry inside like the regular pantry, let me just say that. And when we were building this house, if I could do it over, I would definitely do over the pantry because this, in my opinion, is not a functional family for all my boys anyway. So this is what we got working with the inside one. So I just bought this spice container organizer from Amazon. Absolutely love it. I went through all of our spices, revamped them. It makes it so easy for me to grab and go. I was reaching over and it was a hot mess express. So I love this thing so much. And behind it, I'm not gonna pull it out because it is heavy, is two baskets where I have a bunch of like Lily's chocolate chips and a bunch of baking stuff. And that's easy though for me to pull this out, set it on the counter, grab those baskets and get to baking. On the next shelf, we have more baking stuff. It's like all the randomness baking stuff like swerve brown sugar, cocoa powder, extracts, maple syrup, chia seeds, Kodiak cakes, like all the things. And the very top, your girl's too short to get up there, but I have like back stocks of syrup. Again, your random things you don't use all the time, like rice wine vinegar and balsamic vinegar. So that's all up there and stored away. This eye level shelf is where we have any like canned goods that we use on a daily. We've got some tuna pouches back there, like hot sauce, a bunch of seasonings in the front. And then I love this container from Walmart. I use, I saw it on TikTok and you put your bread in there and it does keep it fresh so long and it's like organized love it this basket is from dollar tree and i've got a bunch of bread wraps random things in there especially for the boys lunch boxes again it's just easy to pull out pack and then put back so i love that these baskets down here these wicker baskets i got from amazon they were a little pricey but they are like high quality and i think they're gonna last forever so i've got like chips popcorn pretzels in this one just snacks the boys can grab or again I can go to real quick to get for the boys lunches. I've got this middle container here is like randomness basically for me and goldfish for the boys. I went a little seasoning crazy if you watch the grocery hauls and I put them down here because we got snow room up top. I know first world problems. And then I've got my protein for oats by PE science, graham crackers, like random things. I know it's random, but I know where it is. If that makes sense, like do what you need to do. That's functional for you and your family and what makes sense. It might not make sense for you, but it makes sense for me. And the back we've got some raisins in containers i've got a bunch of like spaghettios random canned goods for the boys and some peanuts for the hubby and then down here is just random like house stuff like ziplocs press and seal garbage bag back to the laundry room slash walk-in pantry that i've created for ourselves. So this is what we put in first was this shelving the hubby did for me and it still wasn't enough. You're going to see I've shown what's down here before, but on the bottom, I love, again, these are the can soda organizers. Like I use them, you see for so many things. So you don't have to use them for just soda. They come in clutch for so many things. So I've got all the way on apple sauces. My mom went a little ham on snacks for their birthday. Like these are things that you don't see me buy, but that's where it came from. Fruit by the foot and uh, whatever these are called, fruit roll ups like those used to be my jam back in the day not gonna lie and Waylon is obsessed so you can see we have a ton because I don't give those to him often and my mom went a little buck wild we've got fruit cups in here this basket came from the Dollar Tree all I did was use a chalk marker and write fruit cups on there so you can see what's on the outside um, American Dream Nut Butter Obsessed. That's not even my whole stash, you know. Built Bar, and I got these containers from Amazon and they go all the way to the back. I'm not gonna move these, but you know if you know if you've been watching. 
And then these huge containers, I'm going to try to pull one out. I love these. They came from the Dollar Tree, and I wish I would have bought more because I cannot find these ones that were so huge. But I love, love, love them, and they fit so good on the shelf. These tags are like chalkboard proof, and I got them from Amazon for a good deal. I'll try to link them down below and just used a chalk marker and like all of our granola, as you can see, and like rice cakes and stuff are in this one. This one I've got all kinds of like packs of oatmeal and then the oatmeal I make for my overnight oats right here. It's just easy to pull out, grab what I need. This is a shelf I got from Amazon. It's supposed to be like a medicine shelf. I actually used it for our spices first. It wasn't that functional for spices, but I love it for like back stock of sauces or even I got the rice packs in there. It works so well. So I'll try to link that too. Another one of the soda organizers, but I used it for cans. It works well for cans, what it's supposed to be used for. These green bins, and it doesn't matter guys that they're not all the same color. I don't care. I'm the only one looking at this, but now the whole world, but you know what I mean. These baskets or trays came from the dollar tree and I've got like a bunch of spaghetti sauces, peanut butter and jellies back stock back there. Like any canned goods are there. And then we've got pasta for days. So this entire bin is nothing but like bonds of pasta. And then I've got the protein pasta that we love so much by Barilla and they're like the spaghetti ones and stuff. So that just keeps it organized. And uh, again, short girl problems, but this is tall. I've got like back stock of flour and all kinds of things cans i mean it goes on for days like back stock of everything that i don't need on a daily is at the very very top shelf not only did i need that but i said oh we need more shelving because your girl i'm gonna admit it i'm admitted to the world i am if you haven't noticed already your girl is a food hoarder but i feel like i need to in the depth of my bones because I live in southern Louisiana. We just went through Ida. I went through Katrina. Like, it came in clutch when we couldn't go to a grocery store for a month for us to use the stuff we had on hand. It helped out a lot. We would have been in a bind for sure. So, I admit it, but I'm not embarrassed about it. We've got a bunch of back stock of spices. This is some kind of like, it's not a shoe organizer, but something I got off of Amazon and I saw people using spices for and I thought it was genius. I've had this forever and I've shown this on the channel before. Again, bins from Dollar Tree. This is breakfast stuff. We've got some Nutrigrain bars, these cups of cereal for Waylon. He's obsessed right now. We've got a random Legendary Foods Pop-Tart. We went through a bunch. Trey loves those. I got random rice I've been using a lot. So instead of putting it at the top shelf, I've kept it down here. And then this is where, again, breakfast stuff is. So these are from Walmart. Love these so much. They're like $9. They are such great quality and huge. So the big two bags you get from Sam's, like you can fit like a bag and a half in there. It is awesome. Highly, highly recommend. If I can find them and link them, I'll try to do that. That as well. I've got built bars that we are loving right now, accessible again. In this, I, how many soda can containers can a girl buy? Apparently a hundred, but guess what? If we bought a hundred, it'd be cheaper than buying the ones from Amazon. And as you can see, I've shown you can use them in so many ways. These are the better home and gardens containers I got for Black Friday. I've used them in all different ways. I've got some random Halloween Rice Krispie Treats. I know we're still going through those and some random Quaker oatmeal bars. I've got another Lazy Susan in here, but I just put like random cereal bars or I've got this thin full birthday cake snack mix. Just things, snacky stuff for the boys to reach since it's like their height and for the hubby to grab. Back stock of paper plates. We usually don't have a back stock because we go through a ton. The second shelf is like our snacky shelf, especially for lunch boxes. So I like to keep goldfish. I've got the cheese it snapped in here. So any crackers I like to keep in this one. Again, Dollar Tree, the same Dollar Tree bucket here is all the lesser evil popcorn. Get these little bags from Thrive or from Target. Absolutely love them. Me and Trey fly through those. And then this is our cookie bin. And I bought these cookies way back when. So it just goes to show that we don't go through this stuff pretty quickly because I, I monitor the boys and limit them, but I got these from Sam's and then like random Walmart ones that are in there for lunch boxes or for the hubby to take for lunch as well. The bottom shelf is the back stock of more crackers for making homemade Lunchables and we went a little ape on the Ritz Bits peanut butter crackers because I got them on sale. Built Bars, I mean, hashtag Built Bars, American Dream Butter. And then we've got these baskets. I love these. These came from Dollar Tree too. I've got one stack because I had other things in it, but we've condensed it. So I've got some Simply Cheetos, 
more of the cheese it snaps and like a big bag of Quaker chips there. And then this is basically stuff for mama. Besides Built Bar and American Dream Nut Butter, y'all haven't seen a lot of excess stuff for me, but I've got the popcorn that I love back there, those carrot sticks from Trader Joe's, a bunch of beef jerky, just all that kind of stuff, randomness there. Again, Dollar Tree container. So y'all have seen more Dollar Tree containers than y'all have seen Amazon. Highly, highly recommend y'all go in there and go to multiple Dollar Trees because they don't all sell the same stuff and you can find such great finds there for organization. This big shelf that you guys are seeing came from Target. I featured it in a grocery haul. I want to say it was like $40. Highly recommend. Super sturdy. And as you guys can see, it fits a ton. So that is a wrap for what's in our freezers refrigerators and pantries. If you enjoyed this tour, please give it a huge thumbs up. A lot of y'all have been wanting to see what we've got like on hand since we talk about it so much in the grocery hauls. And if you are new, I'd love to have you part of the family. Make sure you hit all the bells and whistles before you leave. Again, I apologize for this crazy voice, but it is beautiful, but this pollen is killing your girl. Y'all let me know down below if I'm not the only one that has like excess of stuff in their freezer, pantry and fridge like make your girl feel not so much like a hoarder and more like the entire world. Thank you all so much for watching. I love you guys so much. I hope this video was helpful in showing you a couple of tips and tricks on how to stay organized with your fridge, freezer, and pantry. And I hope y'all enjoyed seeing what we are eating and munching on. And until the next video, y'all have an awesome day and we'll see you then. Bye y'all.